Hello, in this video we are gonna take a look of a benchmark between ARM and x86 processors. So lately the ARM architecture started to kick off and a lot of providers started to add the ARM architecture in their offers. And one of these, it's Hesner. In the past I did a video with a comparison between Oracle ARM and Hesner. IRM. I will let the video into the description. Now it came the time to do the comparison between the x86 architecture and IRM architecture. Basically right now we can use the IRM architecture to host most of the applications out there, especially WordPress. You can easily install it there. So I'm in Hesner and in here I have uh, two servers. One is IRM as it can be seen here and one is x86. So right now in Hesner you can create uh, IRM across all the Europe data centers. This is not released yet in uh, US data centers. So if we are trying to add the server, let's go and check the prices. So we can check first the prices. So let's take uh, Helsinki for this, doesn't really matter. And you see in here you see that you have the ESEC T6 options for this data center are for, and for instance if you want to create a for uh, CPU and 8 GB of RAM server it will cost you about uh, 16 euros you will have like uh, 160 GB of uh, hard, hard disk with this so this is the price for this and if we're gonna go and check the IRM one we will going to see that the prices are lower you see that you have the option to have the two CPU or the four CPU one that cost about seven euros, but it has only 80 gigabytes of uh, disk space, and uh, yeah, the price it's cut cut in half, so it's uh, even uh, lower than than half. With a similar amount of money, you can get one that has eight CPUs and 16 gigabytes of RAM with uh, 160 gigabytes. And yeah, this is only available in uh, in Europe. You see that you don't have these options in the US data centers for now. For sure, they will add this also there in the in the future. So I will go and uh, show you some some tests that I have done. So in here I have an article with these tests because we are going to check the the images. So you see in here the four CPU that uh, was created. On, on Hesner, this is the IRM1 with the 80 gigabytes of, and you see that the read and write speed, it's pretty good. It is similar with the one that you are going to see in is 86 The network speed is the same. Basically, it uses the same data center with the, the same storages, and you will have a similar, similar options. The only difference. I guess in here it is the memory because it's linked to the CPU and uh, the CPU itself. So in here you can see the benchmark. You get about uh, 1070 for one CPU and the multi-core it's the 3439. So these are pretty good uh, results. If we're going to check the WordPress benchmark, so I've installed the UP benchmark tool and run a benchmark on WordPress to see the exact uh, things. So you see in here that the CPU and memory, it's pretty good. The random binary data operations are not that good, but yeah, there are like decent speeds. You'll see also the x86 one. It's higher, but not that much. The file system, it's pretty good. You see in here the, the, the speeds. It will be similar with the ones that you'll see in the is 86 The database, you see in here, it has uh, pretty good scores. These are pretty good scores for a shared uh, server with these resources. And in the end, you will see that the final server score is 8.1. So this is a very, very decent uh, speed if you if you think everything that it's about 8 from my point of view or around 8, it's pretty good to host WordPress. So yeah, these are the results for the ARM and for the uh, x86, I have did in the past a test with a server that has 
the specification of with four CPUs and eight gigabytes of RAM. You see in here the, the speeds are, are similar, network speed is similar. You see in here that the single core it's actually a little lower and the multi-core it's similar with what we see in the other in the other um, results for the IRM. Uh, these are Geekbench 5 benchmark tests that are over 6. There isn't any difference, notable difference between them from my uh, tests. So that's why I didn't redo this test because it's, it's, there are similar results. Okay, and I think maybe the most important things are the results from the WordPress because this plugin is testing the uh, workflow di directly where it works with the database, with the CPU. And in here you see, for instance, uh, for this installation, you have uh, CPU and memory operations that are a little better. Let's go and see if we can put this like this so you can better see the results okay let me open the results so yeah in here you see for instance in the left you have the x86 one and you see like for the operation with large text data there are similar results the um, Big difference is with the random binary data operations. The file system has similar results. Only the local file copy and the access speed, it has uh, some differences in, in here. The database is the other thing that it's quite important. And you see in here that the importing large amount of data to database, it has the seven dot 84 node and uh, it did in 3.2 seconds in here you have around seven it took four seconds the simple query and on single tables it's 10 everywhere here the time it's a little uh, a little higher complex database queries you see in here that it's around eight with 4.7 seconds and in here you have the score that it's a little higher with one second so yeah, the results are quite uh, similar. The IRM CPUs are offering a good option to the x 86 one, especially that you think that the price is not that high and can help you reduce the, the costs. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe and like it. Have a nice day.